children, I hope you are well and you are not getting bored at home. And I also hope that you are enjoying our Sunday club activities online. God bless you. Day one, God's work begun. The light and dark He made a part. Day two, still work to do. The sky and seas were made to be. And it was good, just as it should, as all creation God did form. By the power of His word, the power of His word. Day three. Came plants and trees, as by his hand God made the land. Day four, God still made more, the moon for night and sun for light. And it was good, just as it should, as all creation God did form. By the power of his word, the power of his word. Day five, birds filled the skies, and God did create fish for the seas. Day six, came living things, including men to work the land. And it was good, just as it should, as all creation God did form. By the power of His word, the power of His word, then came the seventh day, when God did rest and called it blessed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was good, just as it should, as all creation God did form. By the power of the Lord. If you remember from your Bible stories, God has created the world, all the animals and plants and everything in it. And lastly, he created Adam and then Eve. And he gave them permission to tend and look after all the animals and the plants and everything in it. He only gave them one specific do not. There was do not eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. For the day you do, you will surely die. Of all the animals that God had created, the serpent was the most cunning trickster of all of them. He said to Eve, mm. Hello Eve. Did God say that you could not eat of this tree of knowledge of good and evil? And Eve said, yes. God said we can eat everything in the garden. We can eat anything, whatever we like, but do not eat of this fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. For the day we do, we shall surely die. And serpent said, no, you won't. God is only tricking you. If you eat of that tree of knowledge, knowledge of good and evil, you will become as wise as God. God just doesn't want you to be wise like him. That's why he told you not to. So Eve took the fruit from serpent and had a big bat. Mm, it was delicious and she ate it. And as she was eating it, she went to Adam and gave Adam some. Adam said, 
said to Adam, try it. Adam took one bite. Mmm, it was delicious. As soon as they finished eating the fruits, you know what happened? They realized that they were naked. <gasps> naked. And they quickly picked up leaves and trees and tried to cover themselves up. And then that evening, they had footsteps coming. And it was God coming in to have a chat with them. Have a lovely time with them as he normally does every evening. And he didn't see them straight away. But he knew where they were. Because Adam and Eve had quickly hidden behind the bushes when they had the footsteps. And God said, Adam, Eve, where are you? <sighs> he asked this question several times. And Adam came up shyly from the bushes put up his head here i am god i was hiding we were hiding because we realized that we were naked naked asked god who told you that you were naked and adam looked at god and looked at eve and said the woman gave me the fruit to eat and i ate and eve pointed to the serpent and said the serpent gave me the fruit and i ate he tricked me and i ate <gasps> God said, hmm, because you have disobeyed me, you can no longer stay in this garden, this beautiful garden, you have to leave. So God made them sheepskin clothes to dress up and sent them out of the garden. And then he locked the gates. Before he locked the gate, he said to them, from now on, you man you have to work hard to get the food you eat and to look after yourself and your wife and your wife eve both of you have to work very hard now to look after yourselves and as for you serpents you will no longer have legs you will not have to crawl on your tummy and leak dust as you go along and both of you eve and serpent you will be enemies to each other forever and god shut the gates that was it they could no longer go into the beautiful garden god had for them so what we learn from these children is that god loved adam and eve so much he wanted them to have the best he didn't want them to be struggling to eat or to to have a good time so he gave them a beautiful garden with all the food and everything they needed but serpent tricked them and therefore they disobeyed God. So he, they lost all that privilege. That's why sometimes when our parents tell us to do stuff, it's not because they don't want us to enjoy ourselves. They want to protect us to make sure that we always have good things and make the right decisions. Unfortunately, like Adam and Eve, sometimes children and even adults do not do what the Bible says and we have to leave these consequences. gonna make some biscuits for these biscuits we're going to make we're going to make we will need a we will need a cutter we will need some sugar which we will need a hundred grams of caster sugar we will need 10 ounces of flour we will need one egg <laughs> We will need some vanilla ess essence and a hundred grams of butter. <laughs> we will also need, we will also need a, some, we will need something to roll out onto. So I've got a cutting board and then we will need a, we will also need a baking tray to put it in the oven. When putting it in the oven, we will need a adult to help us to do that part. Right, today we're going to begin with adding our butter into the bowl. And our caster sugar. We will mix it together, beat it together with a egg. Adding to this, we will need to add one 
not even one teaspoon, a little tiny bit of vanilla essence, half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Next, we're going to add the flour a little bit at a time and we're going to make it into a dough to roll out so it will form into a dough. So what we've, what we've done now, we've mixed all our flour together and now we've made, a, we'll make it into a dough and what we're going to do is we're going to roll it out Ready to bake our biscuits in the oven for 10 minutes until golden brown or until when they're golden brown and then we'll take them out, rest them for a couple of minutes and then move them to a cool down on a plate or a, a baking tray and um, then, we, then if you want to you can decorate them. Bye bye everybody, see you next week. children nice to see you again um, we're going to do some craft and for this craft today we're going to need a piece of paper and some scissors and if you have a plate handy we can use that too okay if you take a plate put it on your piece of paper and draw it around the outside going to need to draw the snake's head in the middle. And then from that snake's head, you need to go round and round and round until you come to the end. And you might want to draw some eyes on your snake and then you can either get your mum or dad to help you cut out See, I used a piece of paper that had already been used before, so it was an old scrap piece of paper. So you can take your snake and you can colour him in anyhow you want. Hey 
Hello everyone. A part of today's lesson is about the colors of salvation. Green is the sign that God created a beautiful world for us all to live in. However, like the color gray represents, we sometimes give in to temptation and like Adam and Eve, we disobey God. Similar to you as children disobeying your parents. There is always hope for us in Jesus. And like white represents, if we ask him, he will forgive us of our sins and we will be able to restore that friendship and relationship that Jesus wants us to have with his Father, through him the Son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you that you are a loving Father. Even when we are disobedient and want to do things our own way, you still forgive us. Help us, Lord, to be obedient children. We ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. See you next week, everyone. Thanks for watching our videos. Bye.